Hello and welcome back to A Million Buck Style. If you're new here, my name is Manmeet Bhatia and I post styling videos as well as hauls to inspire you and help you look like a million bucks without spending a million bucks. Today's video is a very simple one. It's all about jeans. No winter wardrobe is complete without one so I thought I'm going to start with that. Help you find the right style of jeans for your body because we all have different body types and body shapes. So if you're someone who's been struggling to find the right kind of jeans to fit you, this video should help you get started. The beauty of this video is that not only are you going to be able to find the right pair of jeans to suit your body, I'm also going to debunk the myth that you have to have a certain type of body to fit in a certain style of jeans. I have all types of jeans and these are all my old jeans i have boot cut i have flared i have straight cut i have skinnies i have high waisted and i also have low waisted which i never wear but i'll show you exactly why by the end of this video you will know exactly how to find the right kind of jeans and how to style it there are close to 12 pairs that i'm going to show you so i'm going to go very very quickly i've owned some of these pieces since the past 10 years or maybe 12 I can't remember but some of these pieces are really old I'm gonna try and find dupes of it from Mintra because Mintra has it all and the Black Friday sale is coming very soon so why not make the most of it I'm really hoping that after watching this video no matter what your shape what your size is you will be able to style your favorite jeans with confidence and elan so without a lengthy intro I'm gonna get started with the first pair all right so the first pair of jeans that I want to talk about is this boot cut I bought it from Coves. It used to be a site. I don't think it's live anymore. It's this really wide leg bell bottom style jeans in a dark navy finish. It has these front pockets which are just eyelets. Uh, they're not really pockets and comes with a zip. Now these are high waist and most of my jeans are high waist and I'll tell you why. Because I feel that a high waist jeans acts like a tummy tucker. It instantly sucks your stomach in and you should look for a pair that actually has a little bit of spandex in it. You'll be very very comfortable. Especially if you're someone who travels a lot and you carry your jeans with you. It's one of the bulkiest items so if you have a little bit of stretch in your jeans you can literally wear it when you travel. And they're one of the most comfortable pairs I can easily wear and sleep in them. Okay, so this one's from Coops. I've had it since maybe I bought it in 2011. I'm just so glad that it actually still fits me because it's so reassuring when a pair of jeans that you bought maybe a decade ago still fits you and you know, okay, fine. Your size might have changed a little bit, but you always had a little bit of stretch in your jeans that allows you to wear it till date. It has a little bit of this detailing in the back. I don't know why they gave this detailing. I think my husband likes to pull me whenever I'm wearing these jeans using the strap, but I'm gonna try and find a dupe for you. And um, if you're looking for a pair of dark washed bell bottom jeans, you're gonna love this one or a style such as this. It's so easy and versatile to style. I usually wear it in the evening because of the dark finish of these uh, jeans and I also like it because it doesn't have back pockets so it gives it a very trouser kind of a silhouette. You can simply style it with a pair of pumps and a peplum style jumper like I have here. It looks very very gorgeous. You can jazz it up with bold earrings and a small bag and you're done. Now the next one that I wanted to talk to you guys about is a pair of skinny jeans. Now skinny jeans for me only come out during the winter time because I feel like they act like leggings. They give you the comfort, they give you the style as well as cover your legs and you can wear it with boots. I love wearing skinny jeans with boots. This particular jeans, I don't even know what brand this is. Now the logo is also not there anymore. It's all washed out. I don't even know what brand this is anymore. Now the reason why I like this grey pair is because it genuinely looks like a pair of legging but grey in colour. So if you want to move on from black, I genuinely don't have any black jeans here as you can tell. I like wearing grey. It looks very nice when paired with say a black oversized sweatshirt with a pair of Doc Martens or ankle boots that have a little grunge effect and you can style it up or down depending on where the occasion is. I could wear it with a blazer, I could wear it with a shirt tucked in, I would wear it uh, to work with a pair of uh, stilettos. I would also wear it with a, with a bomber jacket over the sweatshirt when the weather gets a little too cold. The style possibilities are endless. Now the reason why I would style a pair of skinny jeans with an oversized sweatshirt is because you need to create proportions and balance. Now how do you create proportions and balance? You create proportions and balance by making sure that you have the high-low effect. 
now if you're someone who has a little bit of tummy fat or you have massive love handles or even if you are a pear-shaped body so to balance that out i would feel an oversized sweatshirt with a pair of skinny jeans highlights your legs which shows the skinniest part of your body you can roll up your sleeves to show up your arms you can wear a boat neck a v-neck or an off shoulder top to highlight your shoulders and that will give you a very flattering silhouette i always wear my skinny jeans with an oversized fit whether it's a bomber jacket whether it's a blazer whether it is um, a sweatshirt or just a massive pullover i love that look i feel it's such a modern yet comfortable look and it makes you look proportionate which is what we always try for now why is the hourglass figure one of the most flattering figures because it is actually the most proportioned figures I personally feel it's one of the most flattering silhouettes. So if you are a rectangle shape, an inverted triangle shape or an apple shape or a round shape, it doesn't matter. The idea is to basically create the illusion that you're an hourglass figure by understanding your proportions and highlighting the most flattering parts of your body. Now, if I have a beautiful neckline with collarbones and skinny arms, I would constantly wear styles that show this area off. And if I have a lot of weight around my stomach, I will always wear peplums or loose fitting clothes on the bottom so that this area is covered and we're creating proportions by showing something and hiding something moving on to the third pair okay next one this is a pair of mom style denim that i bought recently it's still available so i'm going to link it for you guys it doesn't have a zip but it has buttons which is an interesting detail but it's a dark wash perfect for if you're looking for a pair of jeans to add to your office wardrobe to give you a little reference i'm five feet two inches tall i am a petite frame but i also have big arms and i have big boobs smaller waist but have a little weight on my tummy and my thighs and my calves are proportionate so i am an hourglass figure and the way i like to wear these jeans is with an oversized or a peplum top i'm wearing this top with the jeans and it looks beautiful my stomach area is all covered here so yeah and the reason why it works for an office wardrobe is because you can style it with a blazer you can style it with a jumper you can style it with a shirt you can style it with a vest during the weekends the possibilities are endless and the fact that it doesn't have any rips and it's a straight cut it just makes it a lot more flattering you can wear it with pumps you can wear it with boots you can wear it with so many accessories style it up or down i can literally wear a corset over it and it'll look beautiful so the idea is to basically find pieces that are versatile that can actually take you from day to night and this one i feel is a great find all right my next pair is a slim boot cut pair it's another light washed blue pair with a very slimming flare now the reason why i wanted to show you this particular pair is to show you three different kinds of flares and how one person can wear all three different styles by simply changing the top with this one i went for the canadian tuxedo look a denim shirt on the top along with this particular color it doesn't have to match perfectly they just need to be in the same color family and they look beautiful when you add a belt it just highlights the smallest part of your waist now this one also has a lot of stretch and i always always like i said earlier as well look for a pair with a little bit of spandex it's written in most of the descriptions of the products that it offers a little bit of stretch levi's mostly don't have these stretchable fabrics they do make a few i had one in the past it's not as stretchable and i'll show you how it fits again a high waist pair with very little flare but it works for me because i style it with a pair of boots or high heels it looks great with both for this particular video i styled it with my ankle boots with a little bit of heel just to give you a little bit of height and also i didn't want to cut the flare because then it looks really odd i'd rather wear a pair of shoes that gives me a little bit of height and elevation not only does your posture become a lot more statuesque you also feel confident in your stride when you cut this particular pair the flare is already gone the whole beauty is in the last two inches high waist jeans always gives the illusion of longer legs and that just makes you look taller as i'm moving on with my description the rack is getting empty don't worry about it i'm just moving them behind so that i know what i've talked about and what i've not talked about yet 
This is also the first time I'm actually having a very interactive video because I'm usually giving voiceovers to things that I style and wear. So styling details are missing here, but I thought this would be a very fun and new way of presenting my content. So, so do let me know in the comment section below if you like this format as opposed to the previous one. And trust me, your advice is extremely important for my growth. All right, moving on to our next pair. If you've been following me for a while now, you will recognize these wide leg straight fit jeans. Um, I've been wearing them with both kurtas as well as tops and t-shirts. It literally goes with everything and that's the beauty of a pair of jeans and styling. You can style it in multiple manners just by changing the top. The beauty of this particular pair is that it'll suit a tall woman, a petite woman, a mid woman, a curvy woman, a rectangle shape, a pear shape <laughs> no maybe not a pear shape if you are a pear shaped try avoiding these styles because it's just a lot of volume on the bottom unless you find a pair that actually hugs your curves like mine does it hugs me around my waist and my butt area and then it flares out which is very flattering now i had this pair in my closet for a very long time i think i bought it some five years ago from Mintra. Mintra has some amazing finds by the way. I mean the kind of um, this is from the brand Ether and I never had heard of this brand and I have since been looking for a pair like this and haven't been able to find one so so if you guys are looking for a pair of jeans you must check out the ones that i leave in the description box because some of these are gems that are in limited quantity and they won't be back again. Alright, in terms of styling, this particular pair can be styled in multiple manners. I went for a fitted jumper along with a sleeveless jacket. Now while the styling possibilities are endless, how I've styled it is with a fitted jumper with a high neck and a sleeveless jacket and a pair of pointy toe pumps. I feel this look can be taken from brunch to lunch to work. I mean there are just so many ways you can wear this particular pair. I find it extremely comfortable it's made out of cotton i also got it cropped because i didn't want it to be something that i'll need to wear very high heels with i can wear it with sneakers and get away with it now when you are selecting a pair of sneakers to style with your jeans always make sure that you look at the proportions now if you're wearing something with a wide bottom such as this you may want to wear a chunkier loafer or a chunkier sneaker or when it comes to wearing something with a tapered bottom you might want to wear a pair of converse or slimming sneakers there are multiple brands that do slimming sneakers so yeah that's something that you can look for okay next pair is also one which is very very old i've had it for a very long time you must be wondering when i bought it i bought it in a size us 4 yeah and it still fits me so sometimes it's not about what is a size on the label it's all about the fit now this particular pair and i deliberately go for pairs with a lot of stretch because i know that i'm not wearing it this year i'm going to be wearing it for years to come and i want my pairs to last me a long time so this particular pair is a ripped one it has a rip here and one on the thigh i cannot wear it to work i never wore it to work but if you are someone who has a casual work environment you can style it the way i have I styled it with a black fitted sweater along with an oversized jacket or a blazer. I also like to wear belts with such style. If you want to invest in one belt, it should be a gold buckle classic black belt. I'll leave a bunch of them in the description box below for you guys to make the right choice for yourself. But a belt with a pair of jeans just elevates the style all the more. Now again to style it in terms of shoes, I went with a pointy toe pump. The reason why I wear it so often, especially during the winter season is because A, it covers your toes. You can wear it with socks or without socks depending on how cold the weather is. In fact, when it gets super cold, I try and avoid open toe pumps. I only wear boots. But if you are in an environment where you can get away with wearing heels, keep a pair of acrylic strap heels as well as some closed toe pumps short heels not too high not too pointy make sure that they are thick width so that they are comfortable for you to wear for a longer period of time now my next pair is another skinny jeans with a lot of rips this one is in a slightly different color and it has rips on both the knees as well as the thighs Although my style over the years has changed and I don't wear a lot of rips in my jeans anymore the reason why I held on to this pair is because it's literally made out of 20% spandex and it's just, it's so stretchable. It's like a pair of leggings and you can wear it in multiple manners. How I like to wear it is with an oversized jumper, a pair of 
knee high boots if you guys are looking for knee high boots that actually zip on thick calves i have found a brand that not only does genuine leather it does the most classic designs in boots as well as a thicker girth which means that the zip goes all the way in and the ones that i'm wearing in tan are from that brand i'm going to link it in the description box below so you guys can access it easy to style you can wear it with an oversized sweatshirt you can wear it with a jumper you can wear it with an overcoat a crop top i styled it with an oversized jumper in cream and over it i went with my houndstooth jacket and tied it with a belt just to create an equestrian look with these knee high boots i can literally be riding a horse right now in this particular look these jeans are really really comfortable and i feel like you may not want to invest in something with a lot of rips but if you do have something in your closet this particular look should give you a reference of how you can style it if any of these pairs are still available online i'm going to find them for you and link it otherwise i'm going to find all the dupes that are available and share it with you guys my next pair is this beautiful one it's a straight leg pair in a cream color it's high waisted by the way i only wear high waisted jeans because i think it's the most flattering fit if you are someone who is very skinny and has a beautiful flat stomach by all means go for a low waist pair but because i have a little bit of stomach fat here and my smallest part of the waist is a little higher than my navel i like my jeans to hit me right above my navel so that it looks very sucked in and flattering now i got it altered to fit me right above my ankle and the beauty of it is that it looks like a pair of trousers so i paired it with a cashmere t-shirt with a polo neck and a blazer in a similar color family and as far as shoes is concerned i wanted to bring a little bit of color without really going away from the monotone look so i went with this exotic effect pointy toe pumps from mango which look beautiful when paired with a neutral background now the beauty of this particular look is that it looks quite expensive it is something that can be passed on as a quiet luxury look it's sophisticated it looks chic can be worn for both casual as well as formal settings so what's not to love here now the next pair that i have hanging here is another pair that i bought i think this one is an h&m buy i bought it back in 2011 and it has tested the time oh my god it still looks brand new i haven't worn it much because i have a lot of pairs but what i love about this particular pair is the fact that it has front pockets which are pretty cute it gives that 70s vibe it has an extra flare on the bottom and i deliberately didn't get it cut so that i look extra tall when i wear high heeled wedges i do that all the time especially with my flared jeans or bell bottom jeans because i feel it gives you the opportunity to look taller because a you're wearing something which is high waist in this case b it's super flattering around your butt area and then it hugs your thighs and then flares out which looks gorgeous and when you have a little bit of heel supporting you not only do you look taller you also look a lot more statuesque i would wear it without a belt because it has this beautiful braiding detail all around the waist strap of this particular pair and it's also ultra high waist which means that um if i wear something that's tucked in it's going to highlight the smallest part of my waist making me look extra skinny and the fact that it's high waist and then you see legs all the way to the floor it makes you look really really tall and why wouldn't i want to look like that it just boosts your confidence instantly the next pair is a pair of white skinny jeans um this is another new addition to my closet i bought it maybe 9 months ago and the reason why i like this pair so much is that i love wearing oversized shirts over skinny jeans especially in the summer months especially during the transitional winter months when it's not too cold but there is a little nip in the air and you want to feel comfortable and a little covered you can style it with an oversized shirt and it looks beautiful it's also something which a lot of women with a little extra belly fat can wear if you have a protruding belly and if you have a lot of love handles If you wear a skinny jeans with a little bit of elastane or spandex in it, it's going to create that cinching effect that I talked about earlier. And if you have an oversized shirt over it, it'll just cover all the flaws. 
everything that you don't want highlighted and hence a skinny pair of jeans can be worn by anyone just make sure that you always end up getting your skinny jeans altered to hit you right above your ankle if it's not hitting you right above your ankle it's going to give you a very shabby and shortening effect as opposed to the lengthening effect that we want it's completely the opposite and you don't want that so i style this piece with an oversized jacket now a jacket is basically a hybrid between a shirt and a jacket it looks like a shirt but it gives you the warmth of a jacket i picked up quite a few pieces last year and this one's one of those pieces it goes very well with the white jeans now the trick is to find balance like i said earlier if you're wearing something tight on the bottom you want to make sure that you're wearing something loose and vice versa so this one looks really good and if you don't already have a pair of white jeans consider adding one and if you're not someone who likes the look of a stark white pair my next pair should help resolve that we just have two more pairs left so stay with me now the next one is a pair which I deliberately didn't get altered although it's rather lengthy on me but super high waist in a very dark finish of navy you can tell it's a premium piece because of the way it looks it doesn't have a lot of branding and I'm not going to tell you what brand this is because it's if it's available in the market I'm just going to link it in the description box below I don't know if it still is and I don't want you guys just looking for it helter skelter so let's not do that to you i love the fact that they are extra wide on the bottom if i cut them they'll just lose out on the look of it and then i won't be able to wear it with my high heeled wedges um, i have these platform wedges which are like seven inches tall and whenever i wear these jeans with them i just look so tall i look at least five eight if not more pretty easy to style very simple the reason why I like this particular color is because of the dark finish, it gives you that slimming effect. It doesn't make your thighs look too big. So if you're someone who has a little bit of weight on the thighs, styles like these really work for you because it creates the illusion that you have slimming thighs. And if it reaches the floor, nothing like it, just wear a pair of platform wedges that are comfortable or boots that have a little bit of platform and give you height. What a beauty. The last one is a pair that I'm wearing. These are my favorite pair. They're light washed, high waist, cropped jeans that reach me right on my ankle. I love the fact that it has a little bit of spandex. I can literally sleep in them when I'm on a flight. They're so comfortable and they can be paired in multiple manners. Here I'm showing you how I would style it for maybe a Friday at work with a casual environment. Just wear a tweed jacket over a black vest. Make sure that you're wearing a belt so that it looks a little more formal. So when you wear a belt in any look it starts to look a lot more formal so when you want to elevate a style just add a belt and you're good to go i'm wearing it with these heeled ballerina shoes that give it a very polished look and a tote to carry all my essentials if i had to pick one pair out of all the pairs hanging here it would have to be this one it's very comfortable it's light washed but it's not super light so it's right in the middle and that just goes to show that i can wear it in both formal as well as casual environments now again high waist enhances your curves it hugs you right and then goes all the way straight which is a very flattering look no matter what your shape is a pair of jeans is a must have in your wardrobe and all i want to say is don't be scared if you have a pair of jeans just put it on try different varieties of tops with it the idea is that you find a pair of jeans that brings you a lot of confidence and something that you will reach for over and over again without feeling conscious okay guys so that was the video i hope you guys enjoyed it the purpose of sharing this video was just to tell you that you can rock a pair of jeans as long as you know how to style it i hope you found this video helpful i'm open to suggestions and your comments if there's anything that you basically are struggling with in terms of styling you can always leave me a dm on my instagram i do offer personalized styling sessions as well so if you're interested you can send me pictures there. You can send me a voice note there. I'll leave my Instagram details right here for you to reach out to me. The idea is to feel confident in your own body. God has been very kind to give you a healthy body. Just embrace it and feel your best. And let me tell you, in terms of price points, the most expensive pair on this particular rack is a 4,000 rupees pair. The rest are all under 4,000 and I absolutely love my denim collection.
it only goes to show that you don't need to spend a lot of money to look like a million bucks you literally just need to find the right pair and i'm hoping that my suggestions are helping my next video is going to be around how to create a winter capsule wardrobe which is going to be very handy so do make sure that you come back for it leave me a comment below what you guys would like to watch next i'm always open for suggestion i'm going to see you guys very very soon until then keep it stylish and always look and feel like a million bucks mad love guys bye it's super flattering around your ass it's super flattering around your butt area wires are all intertwined here let me put them in the back why didn't i think of this earlier but if you're wearing something which is too snug and too tight 